Hey guys, it's James here from ebassguitar.com and if you're interested in learning how to play killer blues bass riffs, please check out this video all the way to the end. I'm going to share with you the three most important fingerboard shapes that you need to know. Hey guys, it's James here from ebassguitar.com and if you want to play killer blues bass lines, I'm going to show you the three most important fingerboard shapes that you need to know. Um, these ideas are from my Rookie Blues Bass Intensive that you can find over at ebassguitar.com. I've got a one chord backing track um, that I'm going to share with you. Uh, there'll be a link uh, in the show notes here where you can download the track there. Um, the reason a one chord track is particularly good is because you don't have to worry about the chord changes and you can just experiment with these different shapes and see what ideas that you come up with. The first shape I'm going to share with you is a thing that is called the box shape. The box shape, as the name suggests, creates a box on the fingerboard, okay? If you were to sort of join the dots here. And it works off our first finger. And we're going to work in the key of E, which is at the seventh fret um, on the A string, like this. And this box shape, uh, is also called the minor pentatonic too. So you might uh, know that scale, but it is a great scale to start creating some uh, really cool bluesy bass lines from. So just to go through it is we have the, the first, okay, your root, your minor third on your fourth finger, and then the box kind of takes over here. Okay, your fourth, your fifth, what, and then your flat seventh and your eighth. So, so that is your real box idea there. So let me play this with the backing track and you can hear how these uh, ideas, how the box shape works uh, with the track. <laughs> Now the second shape uh, I want to show you today is a thing called the open box shape. This is what I call it. And this roots off a second finger. So if we put our second finger on the uh, E, don't forget if you want to download the track um, and some fingerboard diagrams for this, just go and visit the show notes um, uh, below this video and you can grab them there. So the major pentatonic shape starts on our second finger. Okay, we can put in the second there, two, four, and then we go one, four, one, four. So you can see it's very much more of an open shape which uses uh, all of our fingers actually, except the third, so. Okay, and this creates more of those kind of uh, rock and roll shapes. So the rock and roll guys use this a lot, lot more. So let's try this uh, with the track so you can hear what it sounds like. The next fingerboard pattern I'm going to show you is the major pentatonic forward shape, or I call it the forward shape. Um, this starts on our first finger and it kind of goes into that box idea, but it gives us a completely different uh, set of possibilities. Uh, so let me play it to you and I'll explain how it works. So first, and then we go forward on a third. Okay, so. so you can see we've got this box idea going on. So the astute amongst you will go, well, aren't those the same set of notes that you were playing there? Okay, 
And yes, they're exactly the same set of notes. But what we can do with this, um, first of all, it feels completely different on the hand because uh, it's using a different fingering, but we can put articulations into this. So, okay, so we can start getting these really kind of sexy slides going on, which just, I'd guess, make it swing that little bit more. Okay, so let me show you how this sounds uh, in in context. So what I suggest you do now is grab hold of the backing track and just have some fun with this. Just literally learn the shapes and enjoy yourself. And then over a period of time, what you'll find is that you'll find some really killer riffs which start to sort of creep out the woodwork here. Generally players will start to become comfortable with one shape more than the other, but do try all three of these shapes because they've got loads and loads and loads of possibilities. So that's it for now. I've just shared with you the three most important shapes that I think you need to know to start playing some killer blues bass lines. Um, if you've enjoyed this lesson, please do give it a like or share on social. Um, please do comment below. Please also do go to the website and check out the Rookie Blues Bass Intensive. Um, I've been James from ebassguitar.com and I'll catch you next time. Cheers for now. Bye bye.